Hi everyone, I am Teacher Izati and today I'm going to continue the same topic of secondary 3 mathematics because I have been requested by my student to explain more under this topic. So what is this topic? This is value added tax, good service tax and service charge. I will be focusing more on income tax. So let's take a look. Again, what is value tax? So value tax is something that related to good purchase and service use, but this is not what I will explain more today. And here we are. We are we will going to talk about income tax. Okay, so first when we are dealing with income tax, which is you need to pay to the government if you have more salary and uh, the salary that we will calculate to give the income tax is after the earned income release. So if you earn more than uh, the amount that have been stated to the uh, in any country uh, after you minus the earned income relief, you need to pay the income tax. So income tax is equal to the percentage of excess of the money that you have and uh, whatever the excess is called as taxable or chargeable income. So how to calculate the, this is by minus the annual income that you have with whatever tax relief that you get. Let's say if you pay for CPF, that is tax relief. And let's say you are a husband with a wife without working, so you will given you will be given a tax relief for a certain amount. Or you have more children in your house, they will be having a few tax relief. So whatever annual income that you have, you need to deduct with tax relief. Then after you get the the amount of uh, after minus that tax relief it will be called as taxable or chargeable income. But this is still not the money that you need to pay to the government. We will calculate the percent based on that money and then we will give income tax. Okay, so let's directly go to the exercise. Let's say we have this table, okay, the table that I put in behind the screen, okay. So, uh, we normally we have two tables, two types of table. The first table is about the earned income relief uh, that related to ourselves. So, the second table is the table for us to calculate the tax charge, okay, the tax rate and what so. So, this is the table... Uh, referring to the individual Singaporean residents uh, in the year of assessment of 2005. So, please take a look. For the table one, we we can say that the earned income relief is uh, affected by your age and also what is your condition. So, if you have like a handicap, you will be given a $2,000. And if you uh, are below 55, normally we get 1000 earned relief. And for 55 to 50, uh, 59, sorry, you will be given uh, 30000 and so on. For table 2, it's about a tax rate on chargeable income. Let's say you already calculate your income deduct with income relief and then you get the chargeable amount of income you need to take a look where are you with which row are you related with let's say you have two thousand i mean twenty four thousand you can uh, directly see this row okay just refer in this row right so if you are having about 36,000, you are in this category, okay? The second row, okay. So how to read this table, all right? Um, this is like, if 36,000, we go for 36,000 of your chargeable income, you need to divide uh, or you need to separate your amount, sole or solid, 30,000 and also 6,000, okay? The remaining after you take out your 30,000. So, this 30,000 for the first 
line you can see if you have 30000 as your uh, chargeable income you you will be directly charged with 4000 uh, sorry 400 rate okay 400 dollar and the next money the extra money that you have is 36 so the 6000 is for the next line you need to refer for the next line okay so next line whatever remaining money after you uh, take out the 30000 you need to time with the rate given which is here is 6% means 6 over 100 time with uh, 6000 that you have so this grow grow tax payable 600 is not referring to uh, your second money this is 600 out of uh, this 600 is based on 10000 if you have 40000 uh, money that you have 30000 you need to pay 400 and then for the next 10000 40 is 30 plus 1 F plus 10,000. So, 30,000, you need to pay 400. 10,000, you need to pay 600. So, in total, you need to pay 1,000 if you have 40,000. But if you have not solid 40,000, you need to pay 30,000. From 30,000 is 400. And from 6,000, uh, 6, you need to calculate the rate. Okay, and then plus everything so let's take a look at the example let's say in this situation so we will be given a situation of you are 35 years old you are single and you earn 40,000 a year okay so you have 40,000 a year but you contributing a maximum of 5,000 to CPF so what is that mean by it mean Okay, for 35 years, you are under this category. So, and you have no income really for handicap. So, you will be under here, earn income relief for 1000. So, what is that mean? You will be given a relief for 1000. Okay, so 1,000 will be deducted from your money here, alright? So, because you have 40,000. So, 40,000 minus with 1,000. And have, here they mention about a CPF or in Malaysia we call EPF for about 5 thousand mean five thousand is included in the earn relief next you need to deduct with earn relief five thousand okay after you deduct with this two number you will get a taxable income or chargeable income in total 1,000, 5,000 is 6,000. So, 40,000 minus 6,000, you will be getting 34,000 for taxable income. So, this is TI, uh, I short form it. So, if the question asks you to find a taxable or chargeable income, after you deduct, it is uh, the amount of chargeable income. And if you want to find the income tax payable, we need to refer it. Uh, referring this new value not 40,000 okay so based on this value 34,000 you will be going to the second row for the calculation so you have 34,000 so 30 and also 4,000 for the second row so 30,000 easy you just take this 400 you need to pay one shot but for the next second uh, amount that you have extra amount of 40 uh, 4000 you need to calculate the percent so it is 6% 6 over 100 time with the extra that you have for 1000 
So cross 0, 0. 6 times 4 is 2, 4. 2, 4, 0. And for 30,000 here, 30,000 here, you need to pay 400, right? So in total, the taxable, I mean income tax payable that you need to pay is 400 plus 240. And in total, you be, you need to pay 640. Okay, so maybe we can take a look to the next question so that we can get better understanding. Alright, so the next question is a 60 years old married man. So we are talking about married man uh, with a responsibility of non-working wife, but he have no children. So if he earn 48,000 a year and contributing a maximum of 5,000 per year, to CPF, find the chargeable income and income tax payable. So the key point here is he have a non-working wife. So non-working wife is referring to this earned relief, 2000. And also he is a 60 years old. So 60 years old is under here. So he will be getting 4000 of earned income relief that's mean based on her his money 48 this is annual income minus with 5000 for cpf is income relief also and also minus with sorry this is not comma minus with the wife earn relief for non working wife about 2000 and don't forget to minus with this amount. Okay, 4,000. All right. So because 4,000 is the earned income relief for himself because he is under 60 years old. So in total, oh, where should I put the four? Okay. Oh my God, my four is so big. Okay, so 48,000 minus with uh, 7,000, we'll be having 41,000 minus with 4,000, we will get 37,000 for the find a chargeable income. And we need to do the same if we want to calculate the earned income, uh, sorry, the income tax payable you need to refer to the second table and of course because he have like 37 here is the uh, row that you need to refer so 30,000 is 400 and the 7,000 you need to time with uh, 6 okay so for 30,000 you will be pay you will need to be you need to pay for 100 and the remaining 7,000 you need to calculate 6 out of 100 time with 7,000 so 7 here will cross 6 times 7 is 42 Okay, so for 420 and 400, you need to add on together and you will get six, sorry, $820. So this is the income tax payable. So I leave you the last question for you to do by yourself. And if you have any question, you can ask me and I already give the answer. Please try and make sure you have the final answer of the chargeable income 36000 and the income tax payable of 760 okay till we meet again bye so you can by the way you can screenshot this and then do it by yourself ta da